The sun was high overhead, casting a bright, warm glow over everything in sight. My heart was pounding with anticipation for the day ahead. My hotel was tucked away in a quiet corner of the city, and I had planned to spend the afternoon exploring the nearby Rogan City Zoo. As I stepped out of the cool, air-conditioned lobby, the heat hit me like a wave. But I relished in the warmth, feeling the sun's rays energizing me from head to toe. The streets were bustling with people, each one on a mission of their own. As I walked towards the zoo, I took in the sights and sounds around me, the clatter of dishes from a nearby restaurant, the hum of car engines, and the chatter of people on the street. And then, as I arrived at the zoo, the bustle of the city faded away, replaced by the serene beauty of nature. The exotic animals stood out against the lush greenery, and I was in awe of their magnificence. The afternoon promised to be an adventure I would never forget. As I made my way towards the entrance of the zoo, my eyes were drawn to a large jungle-themed sign that had been meticulously hand-carved out of wood. The sign towered above the entrance, its intricate details depicting various animals in stunningly realistic detail. I stopped for a moment to take it all in, admiring the craftsmanship that had gone into creating such a beautiful piece of art. As I approached the entrance, I could hear the distant roar of a lion and the chattering of monkeys, and my heart leapt with excitement. The anticipation of what lay beyond the entrance was almost too much to bear. With a deep breath, I pushed open the gate and stepped inside, ready to explore the wild wonders of the zoo. As I made my way through the zoo, I couldn't help but be amazed at the variety of animals on display. The zoo was designed in such a way that it felt like a journey through different parts of the world, and each exhibit was more fascinating than the last. But my heart was set on seeing the lions, so I made my way towards their enclosure. The path leading to the exhibit was lined with lush greenery, and the air was filled with the sound of chirping birds and the rustling of leaves. Finally, I arrived at the lion exhibit, and there they were, Leo and Lionel, two majestic creatures lounging in the sun. Their golden fur shone in the light, and I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe at their beauty. They were so still, so regal, that I almost felt like I was intruding on a private moment. I watched them for a while, fascinated by their every move. It was like they knew they were the kings of the jungle, and they exuded a quiet confidence that was both awe-inspiring and humbling. Leaving the lion exhibit behind, I continued my journey through the zoo, eager to see what other wonders awaited me. I soon arrived at my next stop, the brown bear exhibit. I approached the fence and peered inside. At first, I didn't see anything. But then, out of the corner of my eye, I spotted a movement. And there he was, Boo Boo, the brown bear. He was pacing back and forth, his nose to the ground, searching for something. I watched him for a while, mesmerized by his movements. He was a large, powerful creature, yet there was a gracefulness to his steps that belied his strength. As he continued to search, I couldn't help but wonder what he was looking for. Food, perhaps? Or maybe just a way to pass the time? Whatever it was, I knew that Boo Boo was a magnificent creature, and I felt lucky to be able to see him up close. I stood there for a while, lost in thought, as Boo Boo continued to roam around his enclosure, his powerful presence commanding attention. As I watched Boo Boo roam around his enclosure, I couldn't help but be struck by his appearance. He was a magnificent specimen of a brown bear, with a thick, shaggy coat that looked soft to the touch. The fur on his head was lighter than the rest of his body, almost a golden hue, and it framed his face in a way that made him look almost regal. His paws were huge, with long, sharp claws. As he moved, I could see the muscles in his body rippling beneath his fur, an impressive nod to his strength and power. But there was also a gentleness to him, a certain softness in the way he moved that belied his fearsome appearance. I couldn't help but be drawn to him, this magnificent creature that was both beautiful and dangerous. Leaving Boo Boo behind, I made my way over to the gorilla exhibit. As I approached, I could hear the sounds of the primates echoing through the air, a mixture of grunts, growls, and high-pitched screams. I peered inside and saw three gorillas in the enclosure, two adults and a young one. The two fully grown gorillas were massive, 
their muscles rippling beneath their fur as they moved about their space. Their faces were powerful and expressive, their eyes meeting mine with a piercing intelligence that sent shivers down my spine. But it was the young gorilla that captured my attention. He was playful and curious, hopping around the enclosure and interacting with the adults in a way that was both endearing and comical. His fur was lighter than the adults, almost a caramel color, and he had a mischievous glint in his eyes that hinted at the trouble he could cause. Watching the three gorillas interact with each other was like watching a family, and I felt privileged to be able to witness this intimate moment in their lives. As I stood there, lost in thought, the gorillas continued to go about their business, their movements both graceful and powerful, a tribute to the majesty of these creatures. As I watched the gorillas in their enclosure, my attention was drawn to the young one who was poking at both fully grown gorillas. The adults were sitting in a tree, munching on bananas, when the little gorilla came up to them and started playfully prodding them. One of the adults, a massive silverback, barely seemed to notice the young gorilla's presence. But the other adult, a female with piercing eyes, gave the little one a stern look and pushed him away. Undeterred, the young gorilla continued to play, hopping around the tree and trying to get the attention of the adults. His antics were both endearing and comical, and I found myself laughing at the sight of him. As the gorillas went about their business, I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe at the power and majesty of these creatures. Even as the young one poked and prodded, the adults remained focused on their food, their movements both fluid and deliberate. Watching them was like watching a well-oiled machine, each member of the family working together in perfect harmony. And as I stood there, I realized that this was what nature was all about, the beauty and power of life in its rawest form. With a nice laugh or two sprinkled in. Leaving the gorillas behind, I made my way over to the petting zoo exhibit. The enclosure was filled with all sorts of animals, goats, pigs, miniature ponies, and llamas. As I stepped inside, I was immediately surrounded by the friendly creatures, each vying for my attention. The goats were particularly playful, nipping at my clothes and rubbing their heads against my legs. The miniature ponies were gentle and affectionate, nuzzling my hand and nipping at my fingers. The pigs were more reserved, but still curious, snuffling at my feet and grunting softly. And then there were the llamas, with their long, graceful necks and soft, woolly coats. I couldn't resist reaching out to touch them, and was rewarded with the feel of their soft fur beneath my fingers. As I played with the animals, I felt a sense of pure joy wash over me. It was as if all the worries and stresses of everyday life had fallen away, leaving only the simple pleasure of being with these creatures. For a few moments, I was lost in a world of laughter and play, surrounded by the beauty of nature and the warmth of these gentle animals. As I played with the animals in the petting zoo exhibit, I felt a special connection with one of the miniature ponies. His name was Patty, and he was a gentle creature with a soft, woolly coat and big, bright eyes. As I approached him, he nuzzled up against me, his warm breath tickling my skin. I reached out to stroke his mane, feeling the softness of his fur beneath my fingers. As I looked into his big loving eyes, I felt a deeper connection with him. There was something about this little pony that was deeply comforting, something that made me feel safe and at peace. For a few moments, as Patty nuzzled up against me, his gentle presence filling me with a sense of warmth and happiness. It was a special moment, a rare moment of pure connection between man and animal. Leaving the petting zoo behind, I made my way over to the reptile exhibit. The air was thick with the humid, musky scent of reptiles, and the sound of hissing and rustling filled my ears. As I approached the enclosure, I saw all manner of snakes, lizards, and turtles, each one more exotic and fascinating than the last. There were brightly colored chameleons perched on branches, their eyes flickering back and forth as they surveyed their surroundings. There were sleek, sinuous snakes coiled up in corners, their scales glistening in the dim light. And there were turtles of all shapes and sizes, plodding slowly across the ground or lounging in the shallow pools of water. It was a strange and otherworldly place, and as I looked around, I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe at the sheer variety of life on display. Despite my initial trepidation, 
I found myself drawn in by the fascinating creatures before me, eager to learn more about their habits and habitats. Leaving the reptile sanctuary behind, I made my way over to the bird exhibit. As I approached, I was struck by the sweet, melodic sound of chirping and singing, and I knew that I was in for a treat. The enclosure was spacious and open, with birds of all shapes and sizes flitting and flying about. There were bright and colorful parrots perched on branches, their feathers shimmering in the sunlight. There were graceful cranes with long, slender legs, striding purposefully through the grass. And there were tiny, delicate finches darting through the air, their wings a blur of motion. Everywhere I looked, there was movement and color, a dizzying array of avian life on display. I took my time wandering through the exhibit, watching the birds as they went about their daily business. As I wandered through the bird exhibit, my attention was drawn to a particular toucan named Max. He was perched on a branch, his large, colorful bill curving gracefully downward. His eyes were bright and alert, and as I approached, he cocked his head curiously, as if studying me. I stood there gazing at him for a moment, watching as Max preened his feathers and fluffed his wings. He seemed so full of life and energy and I couldn't help but feel a sense of admiration for this beautiful bird. As I watched him, I noticed that he had a mischievous glint in his eye, as if he were up to something. Suddenly, he leapt into the air and flew in a tight circle around the exhibit, his wings beating rapidly. It was a breathtaking display of agility and grace, and I couldn't help but be impressed. As Max landed back on his perch, he let out a loud squawk, as if to announce his victory. I couldn't help but laugh at his antics, feeling grateful for the chance to witness such a beautiful creature in action. As I moved on from observing Max, I found myself standing in front of a magnificent bald eagle named Teddy. He was perched atop a tall branch, his piercing gaze fixed on something in the distance. His feathers were a rich, dark brown, and his head was crowned with a snowy white plume. I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe as I looked up at him knowing that he was one of the most iconic birds of prey in the world. As I watched, Teddy spread his wings and let out a piercing screech, sending chills down my spine. I could feel the power and strength emanating from his majestic form, and it was both humbling and exhilarating. I stayed there for several minutes, mesmerized by the sight of Teddy perched high above me. A true king of the skies. Leaving the bird exhibit behind, I made my way over to the elephants. As I approached, I could hear the sound of splashing water and trumpeting calls echoing through the air. And as I came closer, I saw that a group of elephants were having a playful water fight among themselves. The sight was both adorable and awe-inspiring at the same time. The elephants were spraying water from their trunks and tossing it onto each other with gusto, their massive bodies drenched and gleaming in the sunlight. It was a heartwarming reminder of the joyful and playful side of these gentle giants. As I observed, I couldn't help but smile at the antics of these magnificent creatures. As I was about to leave the elephant exhibit, one of the elephants caught my eye. It was a majestic creature, with wrinkled skin and a pair of expressive eyes that seemed to radiate kindness and intelligence. And as I stood there, gazing in wonder at the elephant, something amazing happened. The elephant took a few steps toward me, its massive frame moving with a graceful, almost fluid motion. And then, to my surprise, it lifted its trunk and waved it in my direction, as if to say hello. I was stunned by the gesture, and for a moment, I just stood there, staring in disbelief. But then, I slowly lifted my hand and waved back, feeling a deep sense of connection with this magnificent animal. It was as if we were communicating on some level, beyond words and beyond reason. And in that moment, I knew that I would never forget this encounter, or the sense of wonder and magic that it had brought into my life. As I turned to leave the exhibit, I felt a sense of peace and joy wash over me, knowing that I had been touched by something truly special. As the sun began to set over the zoo, I realized that it was time for me to head home. Reluctantly, I started to make my way towards the exit, my mind still buzzing with the incredible sights and sounds that I had experienced throughout the day. As I walked, I could hear the distant sounds of closing announcements and the shuffling of people making their way towards the exit. And as I stepped out of the zoo, 
I felt a sense of bittersweet nostalgia wash over me, knowing that this incredible journey was coming to an end. But even as I walked away, I knew that the memories and experiences that I had gained throughout the day would be lasting memories in my mind. The Rogan City Zoo had given me a chance to connect with animals in a way that I never thought possible, and to appreciate the beauty and majesty of the natural world around us. And as I made my way back to the hotel, I knew that I would always carry those moments with me, as a reminder of the incredible power and wonder of life itself.